Hi everybody. So this is one with a diffraction grating and white light. So what I have here is a diffraction grating and I've got a beam of white light there. So we're going to see what happens when we put this diffraction grating in the path of white light. And as you know, these diffraction gratings have got different number of slits. So the first one here has got 100 lines per millimeter, the second one's 300, and the last one's 600. So watch what happens. Can you see that effect? I hope you can. And then, see that? That's a whole rainbow. So what happens is white light consists of seven colors. So it's made up of your violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. So when white light passes through a diffraction grating, each frequency, because they have a different wavelength, diffracts by different amounts. So this is your central white spot, the one in the center. Now the reason why it's white is that all the antinodes come together for all the colors and they add up to form white light. But each of these different orders forms a complete spectrum. And if you look at it, the blues on the inside, the reds on the outside. And the reason why that happens is because blue light has a shorter wavelength so it diffracts less or it's bent less compared to red light which has a longer wavelength so that diffracts more so each of the orders form a whole spectrum so that was with the 300 and what happens if it's 600 it's even more pronounced the the fringes are further apart so on the screen i can only get um, two complete spectrum and the central one. So sometimes you get the answer saying how many complete spectra are formed. Um, so they can only get diffracted by uh, the maximum of 90 degrees, no more than that, it can't go behind. Um, so that's how we figure those ones out. Okay, so I hope that made sense. Bye for now.